Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm here to talk about one of my favorite topics of all time. And no, I'm not going to deluge you with political commentary. That I will reserve for my Twitter and Facebook pages. I wanted to talk about toys. Star Wars toys, specifically Darth Vader toys, recent acquisitions, some of which you have seen show up in the vlogs. And yes, I'm still producing the vlogs for people to watch at geekfamilyfun.com. And then, of course, the, the regular videos that I'm recording with my daughter, Jedi. Uh, this was the first toy I was going to show you, and the head came out. It's supposed to do that, I think. It's the new Disney Elite Series figure, figurine with, like, 33 points of articulation. And I really like it, despite the fact that the head very easily pops off. Of course, I probably should not have picked up Darth Vader by the head. Oh, he'll hang there just fine. Uh, they are releasing a series of these, and I don't know if if I was younger, I would have necessarily chased this particular Darth Vader. It's not my favorite scale. It's kind of doll-esque, which is not a slag. It's just not my kind of action figure. That being said, given that I do tend to collect Darth Vader stuff that I don't yet have, and given that this has several points of articulation that I might be able to use in future toy photography, I uh, couldn't pass this up. I actually have two. This is one. The other one is safely tucked away inside a box. The reason I opened this particular Darth Vader or removed it from the packaging is because my daughter Jedi stepped on the box. So this was the chosen one. Ah, uh, get it? Okay, I'm not done. Hopefully I'm, I'm done with the wordplay, but I'm probably not because again, I'm Chris Perillo. This was another one I picked up on Force Friday. Styled like the Darth Vader we see in Star Wars Rebels. You squeeze the legs. The lightsaber moves up and down. You can rotate the wrists. Of course, the arms. Legs, not so much. Head has a uh, articulation-ishness. Can't exactly spin it 360, but then again, I don't think Darth Vader's head goes 360. It might, uh, at some point in the future. I don't know. Okay, next toy that I wanted to show you that I'm very happy about is the Rogue One Darth Vader figure. This, I believe, is a new sculpt, which I am very happy to see. You can't have too many Darth Vader figures, and believe it or not, there are several to collect, because they are different in minor ways. Sometimes it's in the articulation, sometimes it's in the sculpt, sometimes it's in the paint application, but this to my knowledge, is a brand new Darth Vader figure. And it's probably going to stay in the package again, so long as Jedi doesn't step on it. So I've got to get it up off the floor. That's where it's been for the past month or so. It's It's been kind of busy since the beginning of November. And here we are at the beginning of February. I'm just now getting to show you my new Darth Vader toys and other things. So uh, you can get this right now in stores or online. I'll be sure to put a link for you in the video description to where you can get any of these. And I don't think I've missed anything. Even if you don't see it covered in this video, I uh, have um, uh, other Darth Vader videos to show you. Like Darth Vader electronics, how to decorate your office, Darth Vader stuff. This is my office, my play shop. Uh, this is something that Hasbro sent. It's brand new. It is available in stores right now. Let's see here. Where's the silver button? It's Simon, but Darth Vader Simon. <laughs> oh, I think it's great. I love it. Where Darth Vader leads, you must follow. Right there. It's a sinister twist on a classic game. <laughs> oh, isn't that great? Oh, man. I never had a Simon growing up. I had a maniac. That, that was fun. But I would have loved this, so I'm, I'm very grateful that they have this. If only because, again, I, I like Darth Vader things. So I'm probably going to be removing this Darth Vader Simon from its packaging because it'll be fun to play with Jedi as she gets older. And, you know, it's a nice way of building your memory processes, if that's fair to say. Uh, I've also been able to attain this, thanks to our friends Jasmine, Slav, and Adele. The Betrayal on Bespin Battle Pack that comes with this Darth Vader as well as Leia, Han, Chewie, and Boba Fett. Quite nice. I would have liked to have had a Stormtrooper in there. But this is 
something that I'm probably going to want to keep in the packaging. It may not be in pristine condition, but I really like how everything's laid out. It's the scene on Bespin there in Cloud City where Darth Vader pulls Han Solo's gun away. See, and there it is kind of floating in the middle there. He's in the mid-pulling process there with the weapon, the blaster. Uh, they produced several of these packs years ago, but this is one that I did not yet have until recently. So, perhaps you are interested in other Darth Vader toys. Uh, I've got a few other Darth Vader videos that I need to record today because <laughs> I am not literally swimming in Darth Vader stuff, but I have a lot of uh, Darth Vader things to show you that are new to me and in some cases new to the entire marketplace and if you thought this was all they'd ever produce no if you thought that was all i would ever produce no i'm tweeting daily i am uh, sharing daily i am continuing to roll forward with life trying to keep a an air of positivity about the things that i care to talk about but uh, you know i'm human so is Darth Vader, kind of. He's more machine than man, though. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the, the next set of Darth Vader things that I want to show everybody. If you want to watch that video, I'd be happy to have you join me. Uh, if not, well, it was nice not talking to you. May the Force be with you anyway.